Hey there everyone, today we are going to find the exact user's location for using JavaScript and we are going to look at two methods. One is using geolocation API which is accurate and it asks for permission with the user and the other method is by using the user's IP address which doesn't give the accurate result but also doesn't ask for the user's permission. So we can go with um, any method you like. So let's just go with the first method in here. We have a empty folder in here so uh, quickly I'm going to create a index.html file in here so here is the index.html file that I have created just now and I'm going to quickly generate a boilerplate with this exclamation sign uh, I think you may know this and I'm gonna hit tab and it's gonna generate a quick boilerplate like that and I'm gonna say get the users users location so this is our our web page whatever you call it so let's just minimize this i don't need this uh, and in here what i'm gonna do is i i'm not gonna do anything like uh, just let's just print out hello world uh, hello world and let's see if it's working so let's just open up a live server in here open up with live server and it should open up a live server inside our browser so it is starting it has been started at port 5500 so in here we have our hello world text printed so what we are going to do now so now we are going to get our users location on button click yes we are going to do that on button click so instead of h1 i think we need a button right uh, just let's just remove this guy so let's just remove that and in here um, I'll say click me uh, or the get location get location will be the good one so there you go there is a button and now what I need to do is I'll set unclick uh, maybe it's I can yeah unclick supports in vanilla javascript I forget that as inside of unclick I'm gonna call a function so get uh, location location it would be the function uh, i'm gonna call the function but i haven't defined the function yet so what i'm gonna do is after the um, button or the whole html loads i'm gonna just uh, run a script tag in here so there you go my github copilot is generating the code but i don't want that instead what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a script tag um with a source attribute and i'm gonna create another file so another javascript file for that so let's just close that and in here i'm gonna provide a path and i'll say script dot js not hs it's js and let's just come over here and create another file called script dot js and inside of that file we are gonna uh do something like uh first of all we're gonna define a function or let's just do uh, um, this method so, so we use we're gonna use es6 method so and here it's a uh, geolocation so copy that name come over here create a function and whenever the button is being pressed i wanna say like let's just uh, alert something so getting location or something like that so let's see if it's working yeah it's working properly so come over here uh, i'm gonna say uh, yeah get the location from the user yes that's a perfect comment that's generated by the github copilot and we're gonna say if navigator.geolocation navigator dot geolocation so uh, with this what we uh, what happens is the browser asks for permission right the, the uh, website asks for permission with the user if we get the permission then we are gonna uh, just um, get the location so it will be the get current position and we're gonna get the position and we're gonna console log the position all right so that is what gonna happen so in here you can see that um it is asking us for the permission for the location so if i allow that we should see something in console here so inside of console we are not seeing anything uh, i console log the position 
so let me just click this button again allow yeah there you go there you go there as a coordinates and for the privacy reason i may just blur the latitude and longitude so in here we get the latitude and longitude um so yeah we get getting the position in here and if we are getting the position what we uh, gonna do is we're gonna get the latitude uh we're gonna get the latitude um by saying simply saying the latitude and we're gonna get the longitude with this um and store in this variable so latitude will be equal to the position that course that latitude we just saw here yeah that's uh our that's our object and inside of this there is another object called course and inside of that course we are getting the latitude and longitude so if we run this um uh, code we're gonna get the latitudes and longitude let me just control log out the latitude and longitude and we're gonna get um, some result in here so of course we're gonna get some result let me hit get location uh it is asking me again and again i'll not say remember this decision because we're testing out the website we may decline later so i'm not gonna like check this guy so i'm gonna allow this uh and it should work actually why it isn't working yeah there you go it took some time in here uh, but yeah. anyway it worked and there you go there is a latitude and longitude of course maybe it's blurred but you got the point if you run the code you're gonna get that thing uh, uh, and if um, the navigator means geolocation is supported i'm gonna um, just uh, show that thing else uh, i'm gonna console log out or a lot that a lot i'm gonna alert this guy that geolocation is not supported by this browser of course firefox um, supports the geolocation so we're not gonna get that thing now i'm gonna save i'm gonna hit reload and if i uh, click on this get location button yes it is asking um, for the location if i allow this our website will get the location so uh means the website owner or the developer will get the location of the user but what if i block the location uh what happened nothing right so we didn't get anything in the console um neither we get anything in here in the on this screen so uh, that is not a great ux so you need to handle error um so uh i just wanna do this so i just wanna cut this out so in here i'll say show position i'll create another function and here handle error or show error so outside of that i'm gonna create another function called show position and inside of that show position i'm gonna paste the code i just copied right now so just i just replace this whole code with the show position and in here you can see that show position contains the same code so means we are just creating functions in here and um just below that i'm gonna uh, just create another function called show error so this uh, this will do what it names this it will show us error so in here um, error also we are gonna use the switch case um because uh let's just console out the error right so console dot log error so we're gonna get the error so i'm gonna console log the error and purposefully in here i'm gonna block this okay we're gonna get uh, we are getting this thing so uh if once if we deny the user's location permission then it will not ask but if we allow once it will ask every time okay that's a privacy feature of the firefox i appreciate that and in here you can see code one so code one means message user denied the geolocation prompt so likewise there are different codes um for which you can go and surf on internet and you will find otherwise this is, let's just uh, use switch statement and uh, i'm gonna show you what are the codes in here so um, uh, the error the permission denied so in here there is a code and let me just expand this um there you go there is a permission denied one means uh, if the permission is denied what are you gonna do is we're gonna alert the user that the permission has been denied means user 
deny the request for the geolocation and I'm gonna break out of here so I'm gonna break out of this case and I'm gonna go for another case so what may be the another case means position unavailable yes it can be the another case so I'm gonna alert that the location information is unavailable you can provide the location yourself or we gonna find out in a different um, way to find the location right so another way will be the timeout so if the user takes too long to accept the location permission like the prompt you got um, then it will get the, this timeout error so we are gonna just console out the or alert out the and timeout error and there is another case for unknown error and for the unknown error we are gonna just print out unknown error and we are gonna break out of this and at last we should be having default statement so there you go default statement and an unknown error occur so there is also an unknown error and there is also another unknown error and at last what we're gonna do is we're gonna close the switch statement so let's just close the switch statement without need break in the default statement so there you go we have our all core ready to go so in here I'm gonna hit and get location and we should be getting some error so I'm gonna hit this guy user denied the request for geolocation there you go there is the error and if I come over here and block temporarily I'm gonna just cut it out and if I press this button again it's gonna ask for location I'm gonna allow the location and uh, what it should do is it should print out something yeah there you go uh, it is printing out something in here so let's just print out these coordinates into the screen until all the screen right here so for that i'm gonna create a paragraph tag uh, of course i need header tag and i'm gonna say paragraph tag uh, okay we don't need to provide any id in here instead i'm gonna come up in here i'm gonna select that paragraph tag so select all mm, I'll, I'll say the destination or some list goes to document dot query selector document dot uh, I'll use query selector query selector it will be the paragraph one we don't have any paragraph tag so we'll use this and um, inside of destination that inner HTML latitude longitude and that's how we're gonna do the thing so if you don't understand this it's like um um okay let me just print out the thing and you will understand so there you go get the user's location there is nothing for left for the paragraph because paragraph is null so there is nothing being printed if i uh, hit and get location and allow this then, then after some time well what are you gonna get is the location on the screen so three two one yeah there you go so latitude and longitude we got latitude and longitude in there so in here if you don't understand this code then let me elaborate this so it's um this syntax is just equal to uh, writing uh, latitude so let me just um, type it correctly so this is uh, just um, same as writing like this and i think you know uh, how to uh, new or not to concatenate in this way in this fashion right so let's just remove the br and you can see here how to concatenate the strings and that's how we get the user's location i think it's quite slower right now so it's taking some time good amount of time uh, and this is how we get the location of the user using the geolocation API from the browser. Uh, think for a scenario that you don't want to ask the user every time the, about the user's location or what if a user denies uh, their location. So for that purpose, we gonna trace all the user locations using the IP address. So in geolocation, what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna just comment out this guy and I'm gonna create another script file called as IP script so this will contain different type of code so in here I'm gonna create another script file as script uh, script tag of course and I'm gonna link a source to it um, that will be the IP script so there you go and there will be another function 
IP script will also contain another function so it will be what was the function name get location was the function name uh, and come over here create that function so get location and um, get the user location using uh, with uh, IP the address so let's just minimize that and that's how we're gonna get so you know the copilot is so so advanced that it is generating itself so i'll say dot then and we're gonna convert the response into the json and then we're gonna just print out the data in here so i'm not gonna so let's just do the thing so it's the same uh, that we did previously so uh this i just told you earlier also this this is same as this thing so in here yeah, if i hit and get location now it is not going to ask user about the location instead it will get the location in here so get location so there you go latitude and longitude we got the latitude and longitude that is almost right but it will not be the accurate thing um, uh, and in here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna console log out the data what we are getting as the data so there we should be getting some data in here uh, we are getting a lot of data in here so this is the data and let me show you the actual data in here in a wider view so let me come up here open up that new tab and in here you can see we are getting ip address network version city region region core almost all of the things that you want like languages and the country area uh, country population even you are getting the country population what you need you are getting such a um, valuable information for me here so that's uh, how you get the user's location now uh, you are getting the city name and the country name in here but while using geolocation um, api so in here you are only getting the latitude and longitude and using latitude and longitude you can easily find out the user's location user city by using uh, some api of the google maps or something like that you easily find that in the um in the internet for now let's just stick with these two ways of getting the user's current location i hope you like the video if you like the video just don't forget to like and share and just look at the subscriber ratio and think accordingly i'm not gonna say anything in here bye bye